Hello everybody, it is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with episode number six in the uh, series uh, Going Medieval. Um, we are, in fact, playing Going Medieval. That is what we are playing. It is a uh, community management sim from Foxy Voxel, uh, published by the Irregular Corporation. And it, it it's in, you know very much similar to uh, Dwarf Fortress or um, RimWorld. I actually saw an article this week. Um, people were like, why are we always using RimWorld as the reference point um, when, in fact, Dwarf Fortress did it first? And that, that that's a valid point. I think I think that that holds some, holds some water. Um, so there's a little bit of Dwarf Fortress going on here. All right, where, where were we? I'm, I'm building a castle. Um, it is the... Uh, the sort of outline, the basic outline of a castle uh, that existed in England in the um, 13th and 14th centuries, into the 15th century, really, uh, Ravensworth Castle in uh, Richmond. So that uh, castle's obviously a ruin now, um, barely a stone left standing, but based on the original footprint, um, I, I sort of took a look, and we're, we're, not, we're not quite there yet. Um, I've been just building away, um, and today we're going to complete a couple projects uh, attached to the structure. Um, and maybe this this tower. I think that's going to be uh, the the most that, that we're going to do in building. But our real goal, our real goal, is to fill uh, the larder. In the last episode, uh, this fairly large subterranean uh, storage area was built, um, and as you can see, we don't have much food. I mean, there are, you know, there's and, and not much variety. You know, there's pies, there's meat, there's meats, there's pies, there's some stew that might become cheese. No, it's junk it. Yeah, it's, it's like a yogurt thing. Um, yeah, but there's there's not a lot. Uh, we've got a couple days of food left for the community. So um, I'm going to get folks working right now to, uh, and we've planted our crops. So to produce food is actually kind of tough um, until we get a, until we get a harvest. I guess, I guess hunting and, and uh, foraging. There's uh, things around to forage. It is uh, morning of the fourth day of spring. So things are in fact growing right now. Might not be quite late enough for things like berries, but sending people out to gather, boy, not much anything. Spring hunt? Fancy a spring hunt? Let's go on a spring hunt. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to assign everybody with a bow, which is most of the community, uh, to hunting. And we'll take them off building because I don't, I don't think there is anything set down to build yet. The last thing in the last episode was uh, the barbican. They completed the barbican. Um, that standoff at the castle entrance, but uh, yeah, it looks about right. So they are hunting. Do I do I actually have things assigned to be hunted? I believe I do. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So I'm going to assign a few more things, I guess, to be hunted. Uh, there's a bunch of deer. There's enough deer that we can do a good call of the deer population. And some rabbits. Yeah, that should be good. Somebody's already hauling a stockpile. I know he's just, uh, yeah, they're all out hunting. <laughs> Why is he so slow? Uh, that's interesting. If you, uh, if you dress the AI in not armor, they move uh, faster. Come on, you can hit that. You have, you have the best archer in the... <laughs> All right, so it might take them a little a little while. Seward got something. Yeah, Seward's bringing something back, which is great. Okay, um, and we could slaughter the goats. So... The problem with producing a bunch of meat, like I want to save the goats, I'll be a level with you um, until we really need them because uh, in the summer, meat's going to spoil marginally faster. Even in the subterranean storage, uh, it's not uh, sub-zero temperature, so there's still spoilage that will occur uh, on foodstuffs. Yeah, so yeah, we got some deer on the stockpile now. One of the rabbits, I go, oh, it's a wolf carcass. Okay, cool. Um, I didn't tell them to hunt that. And I guess they'll continue doing the honey um, on its own. That reminds me, I believe in the last... So yeah, this this exists now. And I can uh, set the brewery to 
uh, begin producing um, meat with the honey uh, that is being produced as well. So that's cool. Um, and there is cheese production, but nobody's assigned to animal husbandry, so we're not getting any dairy. And both of the people who do that are hunting. So that's fine. We got some deer. We're not in dire need of food, um, and that's a good, a good backup. I feel like I should put the animal carcass uh, storage in the... I think I did, actually, in the underground. Okay, so everybody else can come off hunting now. And uh, I guess just haul things, uh, move around those piles that were created. Yeah, okay. Yep, see they moved it right away. That's, uh, that's, that's good right there. <sighs> Okay, and we're not going to get stone anytime soon. We do have a little bit of stone, but I'm, I'm going to save it. Um, we're not going to get stone anytime soon, but I need to start thinking about how this tower is going to work. I mean, I, I could start producing stone bricks and, and begin building with, like, the ashlar, but I think we're going to do another, another full course uh, around the entire structure and the tower with... Uh, uh, the what is it limestone wall right just that again it's it doesn't really hold up to a trebuchet uh three hits or so will uh punch a hole and they hit a bunch they do eventually run out of ammunition it's not an infinite uh amount of fire so you can build uh structures that have a substantial bulwark of limestone and hope that the trebuchet doesn't spawn on your vulnerable side um, i need to i need to cover this on that note uh the that's probably our highest priority, is securing the stockpile area, because this is an additional entrance to the castle, and as a wooden gate, it's the least defended now, um, by far. And and one one rogue uh, trebuchet shot could uh, knock through that, uh, that that wood there, and cause a big problem, cause a, cause a big old problem. So, look, they're building it already. That's good of them. I feel like uh, at this point, there's not a lot assigned to community members, like they have fairly balanced tasks. So I might be able to get away with um, having them produce some uh, materials. Like, is somebody going to mine that right now? Yeah, I think, I think he is. Perfect. Okay, so pro tip, uh, keep your community order queue low, like the number of... Uh, not scheduled jobs, but uh, the, the number of of jobs low so that uh, it's hard to explain. The number of potential things that can be done in any given job that's active, keep that low so that the uh, NPC will... Not really NPCs, they are kind of all player characters. The community member. <laughs> so that the community member will, um, will fulfill the task, like do the task sooner. It'll be a higher priority because they have nothing else that they can do. Like, there aren't sticks to go pick up over here. They just immediately went for the deer. Like, I guess I guess what I'm saying is keep it organized. Okay, so uh, nighttime of spring day four. Um, I'm expecting we're going to be attacked fairly soon, I think. Uh, it's I don't think on the last episode I was raided at all, so it's, it's a very high likelihood that within a day or two a raid will come. But in anticipation of that, we're actually going to begin the process of, uh, since there's stone to burn and there's mining going on and someone clearly is involved, engaged in construction, um, we're going to begin building up these uh, gatehouse. Uh, they're not really towers, but uh, I don't. I don't really think the, the gatehouse. Um, the projections on either side of the gate. And we'll build those up with limestone, um, which is definitely going to be an upgrade. I'm not too worried about them getting killed by uh, getting hit by a trebuchet, but uh, the limestone battlement is going to provide uh, like the actual crenellated part um, with the maculation. That, that, that's going to provide uh, better cover for the archers uh, when they're engaging uh, raiders at the gate. 
is the idea. So yeah, that looks good. And it's gonna be a it's gonna be a third level. I'm, I'm of course gonna leave the existing um crenellation, the wood crenellation in place until uh the rest of the wall is built. It'll be, it'll be a very quick process of erecting the final wall. So we're, we're going to need more stone. I don't think we're going to get all this done um, on the stockpile we have. That's fine. Someone's working on it. Uh, other priorities. Uh, I should set this to burn bodies. I don't know why that never stays uh, set to burn bodies, but I think it's like the fourth or fifth time I've, I've said that. I guess because I keep moving it. I think I moved it in the last episode and then didn't set it again. Okay, how are our crops doing? We have uh, two days to go in the cabbages. Two days, not bad. Um, that'll be, but it's like ten, yeah, ten days in the barley. So the barley's gonna come up in uh, at exactly summer uh, three, summer three, um, and that'll be good. If we get all the barley up in summer three, we'll be able to get another crop in the ground before uh, the end of fall. Um, or at least to, to, to grow a second crop to completion before the end of fall. In, in which case, I may build a, a granary or a uh, hay silo outside the keep here because that, that becomes increasingly important. You wind up with like m metric fuck tons of hay and uh, especially when you're growing barley for like alcohol production and stuff. So yeah, you feed it to livestock, but it, it's also very useful to produce um, animal feed. See, there we go. There's the attack. Um, more or less what I predicted within, within within a day or two. So, so we've been attacked by the forest bandits. Uh, what are we What are we looking at here? Four archers and marauders. So this group is going to be uh, a piece of cake. We've got four archers. That's not a significant threat. Um, and marauders are just fodder for my archers, uh, especially as they attack the Barbican, um, where they're just going to be more exposed to fires from the wall. So uh, I'm just going to take a look at them real quick. I see uh, Alfred there has a suit of plate armor. Osgar has a suit of plate armor. We're going to start to get plate armor um, imminently. And I don't, I mean, I guess I can just grab the bows and add them to the stockpile, but I don't, I don't see anything else there that's I mean, there might be high quality stuff, but you, 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 never, you never know what they're carrying, right? Or how much damage it takes when you fight them. Um, but they are on the map. So I really need to uh, build something over there. Uh, is anyone not? These, this, just this, these two characters, uh, Anais and Elmer, are not drafted. Everyone's drafted now. So I'm going to give them all a group order to move into the courtyard. The enemies are already marching toward us. They're, they're kind of far away though. It's going to be, I think they're kind of far away. Maybe they're not. Where are they? There they are. They're coming down the mountain there. So yeah, they're, they're, or the hillside. I guess it's a hillside because this is a hillside, but Oh, someone's clothes just gave way. That's... What did we lose? Oh, well, they're losing their winter clothes anyway because summer's around the corner. So while we're waiting for the enemy, I'm going to give them all get near summer orders. Uh, we may not have summer clothes made. I may have to do that. I see that I have some leather and some... Uh, what is that? Linen cloth. I have some leather and some linen cloth. So perhaps, perhaps that can be created. Okay, so the attack is uh, on its way. Um, Elmer and S so the, the archers uh, all are to the wall. A little frustrating, we're still working with wood crenellations. Uh, and these two, the melee characters, are to the gate. Which appears to be partially open. I'm not quite sure why that's partially open. Uh, perhaps that is something I had it set to keep open. Uh, let's set them to default. And can they be given? No, they can't be given an order. So you are being taken off a. Uh, set the door to default state. There we go. Make sure you close your doors, folks. Um, but yeah, they're good. So the enemies, yeah, just just passing the the back of the uh, the stockpile area. 
Again, they're gonna come all the way around to the front. There's nothing out here for them to destroy. Um, don't leave the uh, raiders any like easy access workbenches. Like you're building a castle, put all your important things inside of it while you're building it. Um, at least until you have the capacity to protect it. Like if we if we were all in like plate armor with weapons, like we could we could run out front and attack them. Okay, so I'm not sure if I should split up the archers at this point. We'll see who can hit uh, this guy at the gate. None of them can hit the guy at the gate. Interesting. They have to go down to the limestone to do it. Really, not even from this corner? You gotta be able to hit somebody there. I see. Yeah. A little shootout with the archers here. They're definitely gonna lose. Okay. We got this this crew hit in the gate, and that's no good. I guess I'm going to have to remove that uh, forward crenellation because they don't need to go out to it to shoot. They should be staying back. Although maybe again when it's one level higher they'll be able to shoot down there. Like I think just the angle they're shooting at. Yeah, it doesn't allow them to. They can hit those folks. I feel like the AI should be a little bit smarter about where it can and can't be hit. Um, maybe that's something they'll fix eventually. But you see that they're just kind of milling around out here in full view of the archers. Like a sieging army would cluster up in cover. Um, and I, I feel like that's realistic. It would force you to build uh, like a a better entrance setup, like a you know um, cleaner firing lines, uh, better visibility all around. So like yeah, yeah. See, they are kind of clustering up there, but it's not intentional. They're just gravitating to the door. There's still an archer up. He's managed to hit two of us. Uh, now he's dead. Oh, they got the door, but now they get a... Okay, so this is interesting. This I did on purpose. Um, I kind of wonder what's going to happen. I mean, I got to get them some, like, actual combat experience, right? Like, they can't just shoot everyone from the walls or... So I created a control point. Oh, that's a little too controlled. There we go. So you see that they're... Uh, capable. I may I may instrumentalize this design and build more um, a more lethal gatehouse. Like if you've ever seen David McCauley's Castle, uh, it's an animated series uh, or an animated TV show from the the '90s or even the late '80s. Um, you know, just 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 kid stuff. But it's uh, it contains a fictional castle in which the gatehouse is defended by um, multiple stage gates with. Uh, arrow loops and firing ports built into the hallway on either side. Um, I've always kind of liked that design, so we may wind up with something like that here eventually. Probably not on this stream, but uh, I'm really surprised that they haven't managed to kill anyone through that door. Like, they can't shoot through it. I guess, I guess windows are probably a little better. That or shooting these guys up close with shields might not be working. Anyway, I need them to run away. They're going to break through there. Oh boy, they're going to break through there. And when they do, my archers will be in combat. So this is why I did this anyway. Okay. They're through the they're through the one gate, I guess. No, not. Hey, you know what? I think we're going to sally forth and kill them. That's what's going to happen. Did I get the ones with uh, plate armor? Yeah, there's plate armor on the ground there. Um, this one, Oscar, with the plate armor is still up. So I'll have the archers primary him. Move them around on this. There he is right there, exposed. They can't hit him for some reason. Maybe the giant shields. Oh, someone got him. Things are going very well in the gatehouse. Francis has taken some damage. Uh, probably best to withdraw him to the castle. 
Uh, well, what injuries has he sustained? He's hungry as shit, but he doesn't appear... Oh yeah, he's got a minor arm laceration, so he is bleeding. Moderately bleeding. Okay, let's uh, prioritize that. The enemies fled. Their uh, commander there, Oscar, was killed. And... Well, this is just gonna... We get him some there, uh, if he can. I don't think he can. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so everybody's gonna go back to work. Except... Number one priority for the injured character is uh, to convalesce. And I still don't have a healer. There's no one whose um, core proficiency it is to um, tend to provide medical care. Um, nor do I really have any healing items. So, like, we're not even growing herbs at this point in time. So um, it's kind of a, like, here's a swig of mead and keep a stiff upper lip kind of kind of medical care. But uh, uh, something's better than nothing, right? Unless it's, unless it's actively harmful, unless there's malpractice involved. Okay. He's injured. Is he going to lay down? That uh, doesn't look like it. Is there a bed up there? Yeah, there is. He's going... Yeah, he's going to lay down. Okay. So I'm going to... Pick some characters. I guess the two the two melee fighters. He's, he's injured. The two melee fighters are going to have to divvy up the uh, heavy body armor here. Uh, one of which is better than the other. And we get a buckler there. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much. We'll we'll uh, can't call it this. Oh, it's just because I'm I'm behind that uh, weird tooltip. And we'll we'll just prioritize hauling the things that are immediately useful to us to the stockpile. I think everything else is going to be taken apart. It's more or less how I'm hoping to run this. That's really good. Um, a high health, good quality knightly sword. So I don't even want to take that to the stockpile. I kind of want to bring him out of his convalescence, but how's his... You know what? I'm going to have someone tend to him first. No, no, I gave you an order. You must follow through in the order. Boy, you're uh, a little bit of a dick there. Neither will you. Okay. I guess I, I have to send someone uh, specifically to tend... Uh, okay. Where is she? Alright. Oh, he's already up and walking around? What's going on here? Still losing a little blood, but he'll live. He will live, I think. Um, if he drops dead in a day, it's because I neglected uh, healing him. But so What's he using? He's using a short sword. It actually has higher DPS than this weapon. That's not really any good. His weapon is uh, lower DPS, so we, we're going to equip that knightly sword uh, on Wallace, and yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I guess I can set the rest of these things to be uh, hauled at will now. Oh, look, they're burning the body. See, that's... Um, a pro tip also early in the game, um, when you build your first pyre in your first structure to get rid of your first corpses, uh, if you put it in your longhouse, like if you build a central building and you put one of these inside, in the winter, you save your, save your corpses, um, and in the winter you can burn the bodies for warmth. Um, a body, and we, you know, we know this from sieges, but uh, pigs burn hot, right? Uh, and the, the fat on a pig burning... Um, will cause like the fire to propagate through a structure much faster, so they would they would chuck a burning pig into uh, an excavation um, to undermine a wall. And in the same sense, like burning a burning a body indoors is like grim as fuck. But early in the game, um, especially if you're playing on the hard difficulty, like you can <laughs> you can build a lot of heat. It's two thousand heat uh, that that produces compared to a torch, which is like one hundred and twenty. Um, okay, and then they're working on the the limestone wall now. And hauling is happening. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave them to figure their shit out for a moment. The only things that seem to be uh, worth hauling are out front the gate, so we might as well clear that area. And I gotta make sure that we are 
Oh boy, are we building? We're not. Look at this. So I haven't built any limestone blocks, and that's a problem. Someone needs to do that. Uh, we could probably also stand to have someone research now. So I'm going to pull an ace off hauling, and we'll send uh, Christian to do the... Uh, he's a cook, isn't he? I still have any food to cook. Um, I guess we do now. We've got some meat, but we're not super low on food. Who should craft? Who has the highest construction? This guy and this guy. So we're going to send him to craft and off hauling as well. And what, what that's going to do is um, as stone is produced, he's going to make uh, stone bricks, which will just be piled over here for now, I guess. Um, I might as well set up a small stockpile for the stone bricks. Um, because they're going to be an incredibly necessary uh, commodity. Mm, so I'm going to clear all and just put limestone bricks there. And I need the limestone bricks right now in order to complete the uh, blacksmith's forge. Like we won't be able to um, melt down the weapons we have if we don't get that. So... He still isn't doing the thing. Oh, yeah, he is. He just got stone. But he went all the way to the mine to get stone. Because no one's hauled this. Nah, they'll haul it eventually. It's, someone will get around to it. Probably that's someone. It's already looking cleaner out front of the gate. <laughs> you just see bodies and, and weapons everywhere. Like, uh, an atrocity happened here. And, and, the, and repairing the gates, I guess, is uh, the very first thing I, I ought to do. Um, again, someone will get around to it. Uh, maybe not that one. What do we mean? We need woods. We don't have any woods. Okay. Well, that could be a problem. And we're actually pretty bare on forest. Oh, there's hay growing over there. I'm going to have to remember that in a day or two. Um, this, this section of forest here is going to have to go. And I don't know who uh, is best suited to do the cutting. Christian is best suited to do the cutting right now, by far. Okay, so we're, you know, it's it's high summer, uh, so it's high spring. We're, we're um, waiting on crops for another day. Uh, it's it's time to give people, like, their bespoke, like, personal crafting orders, um, things to do um, that they, they specialize in, because there's there's a little bit of downtime, and then we're, we're right back on it. Uh, see, he made the bricks. Okay, we got 20 limestone bricks. How many do we need for the armory? A hundred. So he's, it's going to take five rotations. That's fine. And someone will probably haul those bricks to the pile next to him uh, imminently. I'm also going to uh, site, unless I already did a couple, I did not, a couple wood piles. Uh, it's always, it's you know, I did, I think I did have one over here. Yeah. So we'll even just copy the settings from that and we'll place another stockpile here. And... I'm going to put a stockpile here for now, and I'll just find vendor materials, so make sure that they're just set to wood. Uh, oh look, we can research something, because somebody was working on it. And wood, okay. Burn those corpses. I mean, I feel like you should probably burn the bodies outside of the settlement, but... It's also a great source of ambient light in the courtyard. Again, kind of grim. How are people going on? They all have summer clothes. Look at that. So, did they just drop their winter clothes? Were they carelessly discarded? I don't see any winter clothes around anywhere. Which is concerning to me. Did they all decay? No, I don't know what happened to their winter clothes. Maybe I'll I'll stumble across them while I'm. Okay, and we're gonna have cooking to do. In uh... oh look, the cabbages have started to come up. So I'll I'll give it a day for the whole crop to ripen, and then we'll we'll harvest. I guess unless there's someone it makes sense to assign to harvesting right at the gate. There is. Sewer can go harvest. 
It's not hunting, and he doesn't have to do animal husbandry. And there's still two people hauling. So, but you don't want to you don't want to approach a ratio much harsher than that because those two people hauling are going to be pretty fast to uh, refile essentially all of the uh, produced items. So, you know, the stone bricks and the the wood, and, but everybody is doing something. Yeah, see the stone bricks have been moved to the pile and there's now 140 of them which means that uh, as soon as uh, the sun rises i can assign someone to build that and there it is uh, build that armory and it's going to be uh, who is the smith who is the smith we have one we've got two elmer elmer is her smith Okay. okay, and we're going to set him to basically melt down all of the weapons um, and armor below a certain quality tier. And recycle them for materials, right? That uh, is the most efficient way to use just the, the piles of gear that you wind up with. Because like, I, I have, uh, what, there's no armory racks in that. There, yeah, see, I've got an armory rack here. Many of these things are useless. Some of them are useful. Um, we'll probably keep the uh, axes and the shields and the bows. Everything else will get um, melted down. And then, you know, eventually I'll settle on uh, specific weapon types, like you want everyone using uh, halberds or... Um, you can get pretty, you know, complex with the uh, management tab here, too, uh, picking what people are actually going to use. Uh, yeah. I don't know where armor's going. I actually do not have the foggiest idea where the armor is going. Um, it's been picked up. Perhaps it has been left in the ground to rot? No, it feels like they, they hauled armor somewhere, maybe to the main stockpile. Seeing, yeah, there's some helmets there and some masks. Okay, what's that helmet? It's not the worst helmet in the world. So we are about uh, about halfway through the stream here, um, exactly halfway actually, which is pretty wild. And the gatehouse is coming along. The crops are being harvested. Is the larder being filled? The larder's kind of being filled. No, it's really not. Okay, it's. I'm going to slow time down just for a second while I do this, but. I'm going to need to pull some people off the work they're doing um, Im imminently and assign them to haul because if they do not haul, we research something. What did you research? Uh, we don't really need decorative structures or banners right now. But yeah, if we if we don't if we don't set them to haul, the the crops will go bad. That's okay. We got some wood cutting that was happening too in that area that I I set out. Um, which hopefully he's smart enough to bring something back. No, he's going to cut something more. So I'll just have him bring the wood back. Alright, I can speed time back up. But at least having them haul for a day or so will uh, clear the harvest from the field before it rots or gets rained on, you know, God forbid. I feel a lot safer with the stone walls here. Um, it's going to take a trebuchet a little to get through that. Um, still, it still certainly can. Um, and I don't have much defense going that way. It would be a matter of uh, people standing on the, the edge of the tower here and shooting down. And, um, you know, the enemy would be in the stockpile, have access to the research bench there. Like, that's that's not ideal. This, this area in the back needs to be uh, fortified somewhat. Certainly have... Uh, shooting platform built here. And, and the idea is eventually, so when enemies come to the castle from this direction, well, you can already be ready to receive them on that side. You pepper them with fire, and then you move around to the gatehouse to, uh, like, kill them proper. I think that's the, the general concept. Okay. Calling. 
They're not hauling the food. So I'm going to have everybody haul a food. An individual. Uh, some of these are different amounts too. Yeah, so it's a six cabbage pile. But in my experience, um, which granted has, has varied, like it hasn't always been consistent, but in my experience, if you give them an order to haul something from an area, they will keep going back to that area when they are on the haul task until that area is kind of smart. Kind of, I think. Um, Seward didn't. Maybe I didn't tell him to. Okay, good for them. Uh, and now I gotta order these shelves so that they're not food shelves because they're not food shelves. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So we'll copy these settings. And I'm going to have to... I really wish you could group... Uh, like, prioritize, like, like give these settings to all the shelves as opposed to each shelf individually. Foxy Voxel, if you're listening, that uh, would be of great benefit to be able to change the priority, the content priority of uh, different container types. Okay. A lot of clicking. A lot of clicking. Just still clicking. Oh my god, will it ever stop? I should have paused time for this so I could pay attention to what they were doing after, but I don't really care. They'll, uh, uh, yeah, no one's injured, so we're doing okay, right? Oh, yeah, this, this room here is supposed to be for textiles. Um, I'll let them put seeds in it for now. The seeds, I think, will eventually go in, like, a uh, proper seed storage room, um, because we'll wind up with a fair amount of them if we do things properly. Like, I, I might benefit from allowing one crop, not of barley, I don't think you actually can, but of allowing one crop of cabbages to... They didn't haul... Well, I guess they're still, uh, they're just waking up. It's breakfast time. Okay. Yeah, so I'll allow the cabbages to go to seed uh, sometimes, or I think you can allow flax to go to seed too, but flax is very plentiful. You get far more seeds back from the uh, sheaves of flax when you cut them than you can ever plant in an area. Okay, uh, I also feel like for uh, temperature control reasons, I would like to put uh, hardened wooden doors in that hallway. Um, how are the animal corpses doing here? Decomposes in 28 days, rots in 7 days. So we, we have some time before those... Uh, deer rot on us. Now granted, if there's like a heat wave or something, which reminds me, yeah, we're all in, almost all in summer clothes. Yeah, they get with the program. Oh, there is a merchant in town. Look at that. Brigham is selling, looks like, uh, like a sundry, right? Like, he's got to go talk to him. <laughs> I don't know why that is a thing, but you always have to give that order a couple times. Uh, so yeah, he's got beet seeds, he's got a little barley, we'll buy um, cabbage seeds, flax seeds, and it's fine, I was, just, I was just talking about that, someone shows up selling it, and we will sell him, must have uh, some gold, yeah, lots of gold. Okay, and someone will pull that inside too. Yeah, I was just talking about uh, about how we were going to have lots of plant seeds, and lo and behold, the plant seed appears. Good, good. They're reorganizing this room, and I should uh, make sure that these are food-only uh, storeroom shelves. Which is, again, a bit tedious, but uh, we're, we're going to be judged at the end of the season. Um, Maybe at the end of this video. Um, I'll, I'll strive to do it by the end of this video, but we're going to be judged on the fullness of our larder. Uh, probably only need halfway through summer or so before. But when that barley pops, that's going to be a lot of... And we'll, we'll double that amount right away. 
because we'll uh, we'll we'll just replant it uh, for more yield. Provided we get to it in time, right? There's always around spring day eight, so it's yeah, it's gonna be up in like four days. Boy, I hope this saves between saves because I don't want to have to do this again. The container settings, I'm pretty sure it does. Okay. Everybody's okay. Everybody's alive. You check your population count um, while you're playing. If your population dips, you and someone died. Or left the community, but chances are better that they died of something. Uh, great. We're doing the stonework. But does that mean that we are out of? We are out of, so I have to assign uh, another um, mining course there. I don't know if anyone will even prioritize that right now. That's fine. It's, it, that's one of those things that you can leave for. We don't need to do it right right now. I really do have to build a great hall. Look, they're all just they're eating in this storeroom. They just like go grab something off the shelf, and I think I think that guy just mashed raw meat, didn't he? Is there someone who's not set to eat? No, they're all eating meals, so they must have been eating the uh, the uh, pies on the shelf there. reminds me these crenellations must go oh, people are still still awake at midnight I guess they were they were far yeah they're both going to pass out Goes on the second table here, then the second floor here. We don't have uh, any archery production either. There's no, there's no carpenter's bench or uh, bowyer's work workstation. Um, is that even available under research? It is available under research. So wooden weaponry uh, is twenty points, and I'm gonna need to get fletching too. And I can I can get crossbows uh, if someone keeps researching. Um, we'll actually be able to make a bunch of crossbows. If everyone had a crossbow, raids would be facile for a while anyway. The crossbow's not a super weapon, but it fundamentally augments how uh, the fights work. <laughs> Especially if you're the one on the walls. Like... I need her to tear down those... Merlons. It's interesting the uh, the role that Crenellation uh, played in the uh, political convention, uh, like the actual lordly political conventions, like building a castle, being allowed to build a castle, which of course could be used to resist the monarch, being granted the license to build a castle by a monarch, um, was often just a permission to crenellate your manor house. Right. You already had a big house in the property, but you would like to put in a wall walk so you can resist attackers. Um, and so that's the, the sort of official license that leads to the, uh, you, you know, the, the institution of the, the, the castle. It's, it's formal permission. All right, I'm going to remove that. It serves no purpose now. Nobody hauled in wood yet, eh? No. And nobody has built... I did assign that to Elmer, right? I'm not hallucinating. The, uh, in the oh, it does exist now. He did it. The mad lad did it. Smelt items for metal. Uh, we're going to do that forever. And so we want to only smelt flimsy to sturdy items that are at, let's say, below 70% health. 
and that's that's like a fairly brutal standard but that's fair that feels fair um, and we will um, also produce mechanical components not forever because that would eat all of our inventory but until we have 10 and that will allow for the production of i believe it's two mechanical uh, pieces per crossbow um, but also we're going to make some traps out front um, with those mechanical pieces we're going to turn this area here into uh, a little bit of a death field maybe may out front here too again probably not on this stream but that's that's a longer term priority is producing those mechanical components um we might be able to get one or two crossbows made though we'll we'll see i think i think the the fletchery is uh oh the way i want to the way i want to generally go also we've got crops to haul which no one has hauled and it's the evening of the second day of the crop sitting out and it just started to rain so they're wasting food i'm gonna have to just micromanage them all which is infuriating see again i was i was saying that if they have a priority other priority items to haul which right now all of them should be hauling except for yeva who's doing animal husband okay get hauling And the rain will make the stuff rot real fast. Now only haul the food. Not difficult, guys. Again, I feel like that could be... Where, where are they? They're going all the way over there to haul a little tiny bit of stone. That's... I don't know why stone has a higher priority than the... Hmm. Okay, he's, he's at least moving stuff. Dedicated capacity. No, you don't get off that easy. You're working the field tonight. I mean, some of the stuff can go bad. That's fine. We've got 365 cabbage. Like, that's... Oh, he, he <laughs> went to pick up a cabbage, and he was like, No, fuck this. I'm going to my room. <laughs> like, uh, I know that feeling, dude. They really don't like picking up those cabbages. I guess because I'm keeping them working an hour past their bedtime. I don't know. Like <laughs> those guys are out for half a day now. Um, notice it's both the melee fighters who rebelled. Um, I wonder if there's something to that. At least it's not like RimWorld and they go on like a homicidal rampage and the rest of you have to like put them down or put them in jail. Although I I wonder whether that's coming in the social interactions. Um, that was certainly a thing in Dwarf Fortress. Quite night. Not much happening. Food is gonna rot really soon. It's okay, we'll get we'll get the last of it in the morning. Just in time for the the flax harvest to start, I think. Like the the problem with the summer is you don't get much done. You're managing uh, like full field uh labor. And it's not it's not really until Fall when you can get some work done. Early spring you can get some work done. Fall you can get some work done. And throughout the winter there are some types of work that you can get done. <laughs> like, um, none of it pertaining to growing or harvesting. But they still have time to do some construction here. That's good. I don't know why no one's built that. Uh, those those. I guess it's good that they are uh, thresholded here. They've both uh, they're supplied with wood and iron. Um, that means that if we are attacked, we can just build the, the, the gates. Hopefully in time. Oh, they're hauling the body to the... the pyre, I think. Elmer's not smithing yet, but... Maybe if I send him to do that. As far as armor, I can also likewise smelt items from metal. And we'll do that forever. But in this case, we're going to uh, smelt certain types of item. And actually, I should, prob I should probably do that with the, the armor too, but we'll, we'll see. So 
so I don't want to smelt any plate armor or pig faced helmets or horned helmets. No matter how poor the condition is, these things, cattle helms, we are going to keep. Uh, other than that, what do I actually want them to use as weapons? We're going to keep knightly swords and... Everything else can be broken down. Okay. And same here. I can, I can build a bunch of Burdish, right? Like, that's... If everyone had a similar pole arm, like, it'd be very, uh... That's, that, that's how you equip a, a castle's complement is with a standardized weapon. So that's your first standardized weapon. But it's just something you can replace easily that you can keep an inventory of. And that they'll automatically go pick up. So we also don't want to melt down plate armor. Horn helmets, kettle helmets, and sniper swords. We have 20 minutes left here. Just under that. We haven't got as much done on this one. It's either they're, they're harvesting the flax as quickly as they can. This is this is the problem with uh, growing season, is your uh, time is consumed by I mean, a very necessary task. Look at all that cabbage. Look at all that cabbage. That's, uh, that's great. Now, is someone going to replant the cabbage? Is the question. Because, of course, you want them to do that too, right? You need to... Uh... Let's have them grow. And Christian can grow as well. Let's see, yeah, now they're planting more cabbage because we we definitely got some cabbage seed out of that. 85 cabbage seed, yeah. And we got a bunch of flax seed now too and a bunch of linen coming in. This is great. So, and then pretty much by the time they're done bringing in the linen, um, we'll have two days or so to fuck around and then barley will be up and then the cabbage will be up again. It's like, but there will be two days to fuck around there. But they get a full day at least of... Uh, cutting and hauling flax. I'm noticing our apple tree situation is a little bit fucked up here. Th they are spreading, but they're not spreading as quickly as I'd hoped. Um, maybe the next year there will be like 15 apple trees here and I'll be able to uh, chop some down, uh, get some saplings, create uh, new, new apple trees. Although like the whole mechanic of trees dropping the saplings from trees rather than being grown from tree seeds is weird. I guess, whatever, I, I try not to think too, too deeply about it. Do you have any honey? Has, has honey been made? I don't think honey has been made. I did give, yeah, there's production orders. I wonder what, it's gotta be cooking. It's gotta be, I also don't know if uh, it's better to produce in the probably in the, the spring and summer. I would imagine. I don't think honey is. Yeah, I, I know bees do make it in the winter, but it's not made the same way. Like it's just in the hive. It's not like they're not going out and getting. But it certainly uh, matures and when like wax cells are, are filled and stuff like they they make some change, but. Cabbage rotted on the stockpile. That's going to happen. So we lost a bunch of cabbage because it was already like super compromised stuff. So maybe before all my cabbage rots, uh, I should assign another hauler to cooking. And Christian's growing, but I'm going to put him on cooking. One can grow. That's fine. They're almost done. No, they just started, but whatever. He'll hoe that row or he'll run out of seeds and then he'll go start cooking. Uh, I don't know which which cooking station he'll go to uh, looks like we've got a little bit of meat i guess they can butcher those deer too we get a lot of meat the deer are still on the stockpile oh, they're in the basement yeah they're in the basement okay that's great
I'm going to need someone to get back on building, too, if we have any stone available. We don't really. I mean, there's there's some there, but is that also stone, or is that uh, limestone? Is that... Oh, that's silver. Okay. Well, it looks like, looks like someone's on it. And we've still got this, this pit to expand here, but I'm just going for the other easier stuff on the surface before digging and some building stairs down and stuff that can get complicated. Our food our food store is looking a little bit better, but it's still like it's not a super full larder. Um, and most of that stuff is extremely perishable. It's, it's eight degrees in the food storage, so stuff is decaying because it's it's late spring, like it's warm out now. So things will spoil at that temperature. You want to keep it down like five degrees, something like that. Putting in work. Seward's a great character. Seward has a, a very useful skill set. Seward the steward. Also the youngest of the three starting characters um, at like 27. So uh, has the longest lifespan. And I, I haven't actually had a character suffer natural mortality um, uh, the entire time I've played going medieval. I don't think. Oh, speaking of which, there's someone unconscious. Why is he passed out? Uh, doesn't really say why he's passed out. He's exhausted. Okay. He just fell asleep in his feet. All right. I mean, they have been going pretty hard at, uh... And so that now the flax isn't being brought in because I assigned people to cook. Like, it, it's, a very, it's a very delicate balance at a certain point in time. You really need more community members. Um, I don't think I have enough beds to add many more community members, but... Get some wood in the stockpile now. That's great. It's fine. I really don't care. That's a lot of flax, and they can take as long as they want to bring it in because we've got 102 flax seed and 280 linen cloth, 200 leather. Like we're, we're not, we're not hurting for, uh, materials to make anything like, a, you know, again, on an industrial scale, if I wanted to produce uh, new clothes for every community member, uh, like a high quality garments to boost the morale, that, that would be, uh, all of our material, but we don't want to do that and don't have to do that right now. Summer's around the corner, so I expect to be getting a heat wave this year. Which are, you know, ultimately kind of more annoying um, than the uh, cold snaps. The cold snap, you know, you can send them inside to sit by a fire, but in the heat wave, unless you've got a cold space, like, you know, or they're, they're dressed for it and you put them on lighter tasks. We've sent them across the map to, like, mine something. They... They could very well pass out on the way, and then you just never see them again, so. You just notice that your population went down. We got seven folks. No one's died. Uh, how are we doing? So we're, we're running low on hay, but I'm not worried about it, because that's all hay. <laughs> like, there's no uh, there's no possibility of running out of hay this year, or next year, or I think ever again. But uh, yeah, yeah, actually, you you do run when you produce uh, animal feed. You use you go through a lot of hay. Uh, it keeps longer though, and the animals eat less of it. There's the uh, the, the trade off. Which again, when that hay comes up, is exactly what we're going to do. Is uh, you know you want your hay and your cabbages to come up at one point during the year at the same time so that you can make uh, animal feeds because it requires vegetables. In this case, I think, I think we're still going to have a good stockpile of cabbages, no matter what gets cooked or rots. And they're planting more, which come up in four days, and the barley comes up in four days. Let's see how that works. So we're going to have a joint harvest, and we're going to make some animal feed in four days. Um, that will be on the next uh, the next video here, but uh, planning ahead. Well, things are working out. Still want to get those walls built at the front. That's uh, 
kind of a personal priority. And we do, we do actually have time right now. Uh, no, no, we're going to keep, we're going to keep cooking. And who is doing the most useless tasks? Everyone set to mine. I wonder what happens if I set everyone to construct and mine and then put down some mining. Uh, except for those those two. Um, and put down some mining orders. It's very far away. Is there something closer? Oh, there's this stuff over here. So I can uh, I can have them rip up rocky soil in order to get a fairly decent amount of limestone. Just create these long these long rows here and they'll they'll get to it. Good, okay. They, the gates are wonky, but whatever. So I'm actually going to leave the flax in the ground for the remaining four days. It doesn't matter. I'm not worried about losing the crop, but uh, I'll change my tune if there's a blight. But it makes more sense to do all of the harvesting of all the fields at once. Even though it'll be like two or three days of harvest in high summer, but it is what it is. I just want them to um, get some mining done here. I guess there are still areas blocked out for mining too. Boy, does it not seem like they changed their tasks at all. They're, I think they're hauling the wood in, which is good, I guess. They're really hauling in sticks. They're, they're bringing in sticks and saplings and stuff. This, it's, that's kind of a waste of their time, but... On that note, where is my stick pile? Oh, my stick pile's still here. <laughs> uh, and I guess there's probably one on the stockpile. It's not the stick pile, it's the stockpile. So I'm going to take the sticks off the stockpile and uh, make a stick pile <laughs> uh, over here. That should be good. Let's make it a big, a big stick pile. There we go. And... Raw material sticks. It, it's good. It's good over time to separate it, those things out um, from your uh, primary stockpile just because, like, all the crafting materials, you tend to get a lot of them. Um, you know, I've got a substantial amount of beeswax now, which makes me wonder where my honey is. Has it all been meatified? If they've made... But oh, they're, they're so they're okay. There's so there's fermenting mead in the pile there. Okay, um, there's just no stockpile to put it on. Where where oh where does the mead go? Well, that's a that's a question, isn't it? We're gonna need a beer cellar, um, but for the moment, I think I'm just gonna start putting. Uh, stockpiles around places, like little ones. Yeah, that makes sense there. Yeah, I can put one in that corner. I can't put one there for some reason. There we go. Okay. So, material we want to place. Um, what is it? It's not medicine. It's Is it food? It's a stimulant. And so we, we just want to allow all stimulants on these stockpiles here that should be fairly sufficient storage for now until we get into like large scale um like wine production or uh beer production and that'll require probably a dedicated building at some point um the, the monastery building i think is gonna uh, be a long-term metery but that that's quite a ways out um, that's several streams in the future we're still um, just focused on the keep. Um, this is the castle uh, Ravensworth on the Richmond Seed. Uh, in this episode, we uh, grew some crops and uh, filled the larder. Let's take a final look at how our larder is doing. Um, pretty good, I'd say. You know, there's a couple bare shelves there in the back, but um, and in the, in that in that center aisle, there's a few bare shelves. So we're we're uh, we're doing very well um, as a community, and I, I feel like 
Um, you know, Anais is still cooking there. Um, oh, there's all our honey. We have 322 honey. I don't even know where I, I don't see where that's being stored. Is that being put on the regular stockpile? Huh, it doesn't appear to be. But it's not in the food room. Unless it's on the bottom shelf. Is it on that bottom shelf? It is on that bottom. So they are just putting it on the shelves. Perfect. Um, so we have a lot of honey. Uh, we've we've got lots of food to cook. Um, we've got barley crops coming up later on in the summer. It is summer day one. Um, and that's it for me for now. This has been Postmodern Cowboy playing Going Medieval, a community management game from Foxy Voxel published by the Irregular Corporation. If you like watching me play games, if you want to play other games, uh, if you've got anything to say, let me know down in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. It's Pomo underscore Cowboy. I promise to keep the drama to a, uh, a minimum. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Keep it peaceful out there.